CK just doesn't provide enough. You can tell the CK, he jumps in, he can burst the Warlock, but that's about it. Yeah. Well, Bellow teeping out means there's no threat to this Roshan. Not that I think that Immortals really could have contested anyways. So they'll give the Aegis to CCNC's Leshrac, who already has the BKB. So again, there's just not a whole lot that threatens him besides this Chaos Knight Shadow Blade instant blow up. But once that's taken out of the equation, the rest of Optic will flourish as Immortals don't really have any other damage besides the Chaos Knight. Item-wise, is there anything else that comes out? 33 is building an Aeon disc to make sure he can always get off his ultimate so he yeah. can't be threatened by the Chaos Knight. They don't have some kind of hero like Medusa this game to just like sit back. In the previous game, the Dusa helped out a lot too. As much yeah. as the Murana made the difference when it came to kills, the Dusa was able to just kind of put pressure on Optic passively. It forced Optic yeah. to make plays that they maybe didn't want to because they're like, oh god, guys, it's a Dusa lineup. This time around, there's no sort of pressure. Not nearly to the same degree. This round is the opposite, right? Yeah. It's the Chaos it's like, Knight lineup guys, that needs to go out and do We're things. really good. Like, everything's fine. Everyone's got BKBs. Like, there's no need to it's run this row, yeah. It's time for a moment. Do manage to catch him. And he does hold on to his Phantasm here. He's just going to try and fog, uh, farm up the cogs. He knows that he's dead. Oh, they actually caught CCNC, killed him, took away his Aegis, but now with the BKB activated, he will be able to kill Febby. Okay. And Chronosphere on Avello is next. Pie Cat. His faceless void is making the uh, the Pango's life hell. That was cool that they went back to the void despite how last game went. Yeah. I like that. That shows like confidence as a drafter. You're just like, well. Wasn't really the problem. I mean, the theory crafting is right. Time dilation destroys Pango until he has Greaves. Yeah. It's just like sometimes when you lose with a lineup like that, you're hesitant to go for the same thing. Because if you lose yeah. with it twice, it's just a little eh. But if you think that the concept is good and it was just the rest of your draft or their draft, that was more of the problem. They know there's no sleep. They Pango's take still dead. These buildings so quickly. They've got the. Uh, Level 20 on the less track now as well, so some extra team fight power out of that. They don't, uh, they don't have the Chronos here up, so they're going to reset things. And without the Aegis. Plus, Pycat has a no mana. You're 17k up and a full lane of racks now. There's no reason to take risks. Back out, reset the game. Wait till your cooldowns are up. I'm not sure what Immortals does to change this game. Feels like they almost have to go out and try and force a fight with the Chronosphere down, but at the same time, Chaos Knight still needs more farm. Middle tower is under attack. He needs to get to a point where he's got the heart and the AoE damage of the Leshrac is not as threatening. But it's always going to be a problem. Velo. Radiance middle tower is under attack. 